My name is Michael Peltier, and since I started university, I've worked at three different hedge funds, uh, an investment bank, a school, and founded a, a small charity, and alongside doing an accounting degree, and that's what, you know, Bert, it kind of does to you. In, you kind of for, not not forced to, to work during the daytime, but it's so encouraged that it's difficult not to. And uh, you know, especially with the lectures, everything is usually based on a practical example of how this theory works. And so, when I'm in the evening and I'm studying at Birkbeck, I have the ability to read and learn about all these great theories from these really great minds and great people. And then the next day, I'm able to apply it and test it and really see if it actually works and sometimes it doesn't and because you know it's just theory and other times it does and you come across like this really smart guy when you just remembered what you learnt the night before and you know and this kind of dynamic where you have the ability to put to practice what you learn immediately is so unique and rare and so my other friends that go to other different universities they they kind of see university as a thing that you do after college and before you get a proper job. Uh, but for most of the students that I see and I, I know at Birkbeck, it's a place where you, it's like a resource where you get the tools and skills that you need uh, to you know, really just achieve your goals. And Birkbeck provides you with the theory and then you go off and put it to practice and it provides you with the support to make sure that you're able to get the grades in the degree but also advance your career. And I feel like being younger in the class, well, it's kind of a 50-50 split between mature students and, and students my age. And being one of the younger ones, I'm able to gain experience from people that have been in work for years. And so they come with their stories and kind of long-winded most of the time, but they come... <laughs> <laughs> they come with this, their, their stories are uh, <laughs> about business and, and how things worked out for them and how things didn't. And so I'm able to kind of listen and edit it, most of it. <laughs> and I, I put it in my essays most of the time and I get really good grades because it's such a unique example of that. <laughs> about like a, a, a lady in a call center and you know motivational speeches don't work and anyway but so that dynamic works for me because I'm young and I'm able to gain experience with them but then also because I've just come straight from college and some of the mature students have been out of education for quite some time they feel nervous about taking exams and studying and you know when you talk to them about revision they're not sure exactly what it is and it's just you know studying and so I'm able to I'm Maybe it's too much to say give them confidence that it really is just remembering what uh, theories are and, and questioning them and, and writing them down. But it's a give and take, I, I feel, and you build up relationships. And the dynamics of the classrooms are also great because I'm doing an accounting degree. And so in my class, there's this huge mix of people, people running their own businesses and wanting to get more comfortable with accounts. And I'm a bit more in the financial sector. and. There's one of my friends is in the uh, FCA. And so it's kind of opposite sides, the regulator and me actually doing the stuff. And so that dynamic is great because you get to talk about stuff and I'm talking about kind of more free and he's talking about no regulation. And so there's this strange dynamic that you don't get anywhere else. And I kind of think of it as a Birkbeck mindset. And you know, when I was speaking to one of my friends who wants to become a vet, uh, my response was, well, you should just go to a vet and do some volunteering there. And they were kind of, I don't have the time to do that. Whereas for me, if I want to know about something, I just kind of call them up and say, you know, who I am and what I'm doing. And they're kind of happy to have a meeting. And if the meeting goes well, I, I get some work experience. And I think that's what the amazing thing about Birkbeck is, is that it changes what gaining a degree is. And so for a lot of people, gaining a degree is like you're on a conveyor belt and you're force-fed information, and then the exams comes, and you have to kind of just spit it out. But at, at Birkbeck, it's really practical, and I'm applying the things that I'm learning, and it's not remembering, it's just experiencing all these different theories that I learn. And I think that's what makes Birkbeck special. I think that's why I, I get really excited 
and talk about it a lot. And, that, you know, and that's why they keep on having me speaking at these events. <laughs> because, because I really do see the benefit that it has. And I feel like more than just gaining degree over the three years I've matured as a student, but matured as a, an actual person and someone that is a bit more professional than some of my peers at, uh, you know, at other places. And so I'm comfortable in these kinds of environments, environments in board meetings and everything. And I think that's why I always suggest to people, if you have a real focus and you have the drive and the determination, you know exactly what you want, uh, there's no other place that can offer you uh, what Birkbeck can. And I think that's why it's so special. Thank you.